Hey YouTube, what is up? What is up? Welcome back to Undisputed MMA. Now today we're going to be doing a little boxing breakdown of Nate Robinson and Jake Paul's boxing skills. And yeah, we're just going to get into it. I'm excited for uh, this one. And uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Cinematics. I haven't seen this yet, but you know. Alright, doing some slower pad work. Looking, looking pretty good technique wise. I haven't seen any, I've seen some footage of Jake Paul sparring, I haven't seen anything from Nate Robinson, I haven't seen, I've seen a little bit of his pad work and stuff, but, right, let's see if, he'll, if he's gonna speed it up. Not the cleanest pad work, but also not terrible. I think from this, from right here, what I've seen, I think he's gonna rely on that right hand a little bit in this fight. I think he might be finding some power in that right hand. Double jabs and then some nice combinations here. Nothing crazy. Uh, again, pad work. Anyone can look good on the pads, so I don't take it too much away from this pad work. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, anyone can look good on pad work not the best uh, indication of skill at the end of the day. I think, yeah, that was a pretty sloppy combination. I think, uh, I think he's purposely only putting out pad, pad work. Uh, I think, I mean, it's not a terrible decision. It's going to make you look better, especially for more casual people. Uh, if you're new, anyone can look good on uh, pads in reality. Anyone, anyone can. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, well, we got his forward. Never mind. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna pay attention to his forward here. His forward's not looking bad at all. Obviously, slower, and it's obviously not in a situation where you're gonna need to show that off. Move that, move that little ring or whatever. Uh, or yeah. <laughs> when you see him move that, you might you might think uh, the footwork's a little sloppy, even even in this controlled chill situation. Some bad bag work, which say with bag work, uh, you might get on bag work. Bag work. <laughs> not looking bad. I think, I think we've pretty much seen most of I think there's not much we can really see from the pad work, pad, or, yeah, pad work, or bit work, whatever you want to call it. So we'll keep going. And then... Yeah, just some body work. 
Um, these are old fights. Uh, I think he's definitely improved. Then here's an older sparring match with an MMA fighter. Very sloppy. Uh, throwing that. He's like showing that with a slap almost. But that's a real sloppy fight. These are all really sloppy. Uh, you can tell that. Yeah, I mean, he beat the crab out of Deji. Absolutely destroyed Joe Weller. Um, I mean, that wasn't necessarily the best uh, display, I guess. Here, we'll see if we can find any Jake Paul sparring. Um, here. here, here's some Jake Paul sparring. I guess we'll take a look at it. Uh. Yeah, so far, that was just pretty much bag work. I didn't really learn anything from that. Right now, who I'm predicting is going to win the fight is Jake Paul. Okay. You see that? I paused it right there on that overhand right. It actually doesn't look that bad. I think he's definitely improved on it. I feel like in that, some of those older sparring sessions, you saw him, like, throw that and, like, was it like this? Instead of keeping it, you know, like, like, this. like I can't really show it fully on the uh, face cam, but... I hope you understand. Uh, I mean, yeah. This guy didn't know what he was doing, though, so. Uh, so. Great. Good body work. He's actually looking pretty good there, in all honesty. I mean. Look at the footwork here. Like, you can see. There's a problem with the fork because he's like almost lunging fully, kind of like almost like he's throwing a Superman punch in boxing. You don't want to see that. At least most of the time. But great body work here when he has someone up against the ropes. And then big punch lands there. Yeah, you're seeing, I mean, some of these guys seem like they don't know what they're doing either, and it's just in the get look, make Jake look good. Let's see where we're at. Ha ha ha! Six miles. Six eleven, baby, let's go! Good shit, good shit. Fifteen, back, on the bench, alternating legs, left, right, left, right. I some of the work he's doing, I'm assuming. Work time. Let's go. Switch legs. There you go. Good, Jake. Good. Perfect. That's it, John. Swing your arms. Use those arms. Good. Fifth. See that hairline really... <laughs> you can see that hairline really fade there. That might affect him in the fight. 15 seconds. Breathe. Switch them up. Mm. Fresh. Days. 14. How many days? 14. One, two, three. Hard camp and uh, Jake Paul. Yeah, as we uh, as we near towards the fight, uh, I figured we'd drop a little video uh, talking about this. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, I think we all know Jake's probably gonna win this fight. Just like, I think it's pretty obvious Jake's probably gonna win. But if you don't think he's going to win, you know, Nate Robinson, uh, there's a difference between being a boxer and a, uh, athlete, but, uh, and you know, we're seeing, we're seeing people say that too, and it's not a, a bad statement. Like I, I agree with the statement, but can't underestimate Nate Robinson here, which I don't think Jake is. And as much as I hate Jake Paul, like I, I hate Jake Paul, I, I want to punch him in the face. Like I would be more than happy to punch him in the face. Or just throw a nice left hook into his liver, like, oh, that'd feel great. But, <laughs> getting sidetracked, uh, you know, I think Jake's going to win this fight. And then, he's got some other people chirping, but I, I think the next fight, I hope the next fight is KSI. I think we all do. But, yeah, uh, this fight, I think uh, Jake's going to take the dub. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do a prediction video for this whole card. The Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. card with Fidel Riley on it as well. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Subscribe. Um, this channel is whack. Like, I know we only have like 11 subs. And 
something's weird because, like, I went on my main account and subscribe. Long story short, it didn't go up a subscriber. So whatever, it, it's not a big deal. But anyways, I appreciate any support on the channel. And go subscribe to the main channel, Jackie's Raps. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you want to see a video like this in the future. And Undisputed MMA, out. Peace. Wait, is it really?